labor, yes, it is one of actually the biggest constraint at this point in time uh, for the attraction of foreign direct investment in the country. And it is very true that uh, there are thousands of users, I mean, looking for such low, I mean, low skilled jobs in the industrial parks, yet their level of interest immediately fades up or drops uh, after joining the factory and uh, when they actually get life very much difficult in the cities. And most of the workers, as you know, are coming from rural sides of the country. So uh, the wages of the workers are, the workers, which, uh, the workers is very much really low compared to any country in the, in the world. So uh, especially the initial employment wage, which is like $26 or less than $26 in Olelem Industrial Park or Hawasa Industrial Park, which is very much too low to actually sustain life. So due to this, the workers are being forced to live for three or four in a single room. And moreover, they were not really able to, you know, eat their meals properly. So uh, given that just increasing, I mean, the wage or increasing the minimum wage or setting a minimum wage by itself might not be really enough as the major problem is, of course, the ever increasing cost of living, which is, of course, uh, an issue of macroeconomy, which is about uh, inflation. So the inflation is very high in the cities. So even if the government or the uh, employers increase the wages of the workers, the uh, inflation is increasing from time to time. So solutions has to be given not only in terms of wa increasing wages, but also, you know, trying to fix the problem of inflation. And if we look at, for example, the case of uh, Borilem Industrial Park, every single year, the I mean, the manufacturers uh, has to replace 100% of their workers. So this means there is actually a major problem in terms of retaining their workforce. So in the current situation, workers' disillusionment and you know, attrition, attrition are very high and the sustainability of the IP, the industrial park is at risk. Therefore, in my suggestion, the government, as well as any other concerned bodies, particularly uh, the employers should be able to set a minimum wage that could enable the workers to at least, you know, live a decent life if the idea of industrial parks should work for the prosperity of the country. And this is, of course, what I have regarding your question.